Well, I'm uh, known here in Sweden for organi organizing the grandest of events and uh, the most luxurious uh, um, parties, uh, the ones that everyone wants to be invited to. Not only fashion and music, but also uh, politics and really grand things. Uh, this is about Mikael Bindefeldt and his 30 years of work, being able to, to communicate and to really see to that the, that the invitations is something really special and he has been uh, on TV today expressing the difference in between digital format and printed items and printed items he is the master of that game and communication is his area he has picked 47 of his 1500 best uh, invitations and um, you can see as well, we have had a, a lot of press, of course, and we have um, plenty of people yesterday coming, and today we expect at least about 100 to come. The invitation cards are just the beginning of a long journey. So when we uh, take on uh, an assignment, we sort of try to find a way of communicating the whole, the whole atmosphere of the party. So the first, the first sign of that is uh, the invitation cards. They're really important and uh, I've made uh, uh, my name with the invitation cards by trying to use odd materials, difficult ways of printing, challenge the printers in trying to do things that they thought were impossible. The paper is very, very important when you do invitations. It's uh, the idea and the paper. It's, and also, in my case, the winners, uh, who are the laureates, it's very important too. As Mikael Bindefeldt, who is the party for, it's very important to visualize it in the invitations. Actually, I, I would like, I'd just like to see, uh, but I, well, of course, I mean, in, it's a paper shop, you always get inspired by all, everything, so I think it's fun, a lot of fun. Paper has always been uh, part of, uh, it sounds pretentious to say part of my life, but it really has. I was uh, collecting paper for many years through my extensive travels through the world. I've, uh, w I've been to paper factories in Laos, in uh, Cambodia, in Burma, in North Korea even. I bought papers that I used for an assignment in uh, Tibet. So, I, you know, I really like paper. Papers are sexy. Paper is uh, recyclable. Paper is beautiful. It's a beautiful way of communicating things with paper. Paper is a, is a combination. It uh, appeals to your uh, feelings and to your senses, really. When you get a paper invitation, for instance, it's more different than if you would receive it in digital form. You know, for, for, for quite a few years, uh, electronic invitations were cooler than having real invita invites mailed to you. I think now it's gone the other way around. I think that you value, as a receiver, as a guest, you value the work that the host or hostess has put into the inv inv invitation cards and you feel that you're uh, actually picked, that you're the one. And uh, it, it, it's, it sends a, lot, a completely different signal. I still think when you have a, a a card or a paper with this material when you have it in your hand you can never make an imitation the same way when you have a digital print uh, so therefore I think the idea still is on the market and I think together we can promote this jobs anymore We are putting and show a lot of material. We are showing printed examples together with the new persons, what we can find out to do together. As it's all, not only Antalis who make the job, but when you find an inspiration people have had a lot of ideas, we can help them together with the material we have. What we can be perfect for that kind of end product. I would say when it comes to specialities, it's mostly the prescribers. They select something that they think is the right paper for, for, for that uh, printed sample. And uh, uh, so I, I, mainly it's prescribers, they decide. And they also have more knowledge, I would say.
Well, I would say even though that the demand for paper is a decreasing market, you have an increase when it comes to specialities because you have a higher demand for special things. There are not that many printers that really understand the importance of specials. Specials, that is where you can earn the money and where you can make difference. It's all about making sure we define a good collaboration between the physical print media and the digital world. And Antalis is definitely working on this concept more and more. We, we try to make sure that the communication agency new generation understand this concept. So this is why we have this exhibition. I think in some way it was a success because we were able to uh, raise the bar where we wanted it to be in terms of inspiring the graphical industry. Uh, having somebody like Michael Bindefeld was for sure a big help. And uh, as you said in your introduction, it's closer to a, an art gallery than just a printed sample realization. But that's actually where we want it to be. To, uh, uh, make people remember that actually the physical media is very strong and very engaging with uh, the consumer. If you look at today's uh, event, we are focusing on agencies, bureaus, and uh, designers, marketing departments, and uh, where they can get inspirations and have a look at the most beautiful uh, communication tools which Mikael shows here uh, this evening. So that I hope inspires that part of the market, which is helping, of course, the graphical industry. That is what the showroom is all about. It is something that we used to do, and it is something that we want to do more and more. Um, and we want to do it with the right people. So Michael Bindefeld is a, is a good uh, uh, candidate for this kind of event. The, the idea going forward in the second semester and in the year to come is to develop this concept and have people moving in with exhibition of printed, you know, realized samples, which is, uh, you know, inspiring for the agencies. We will also go more and more in the visual communication world, so the interior decoration, the wall decoration, wall decoration, because there is a demand on the retail market for this. Hotels, shops, and this is definitely where we can also enhance their communication uh, revive it, update on a regular basis. So we are not just talking about small format paper, but also big format uh, media.